In this video, I'm going to show you how to free up disk space on your Windows operating system. This can be Windows 11, Windows 10, or previous versions of Windows. I'm going to show you a few different steps. So first, what we're going to do is on your keyboard, you're going to press Windows and R. That's going to open up your Run application. Now you can right-click the Start button, and then you can click Run here as another option to open this up. And then we're going to type in Prefetch and click OK. And then while we're in Prefetch, go ahead and click on one of these options and click Control A to select all, and then we're going to click Control D. Now that's going to delete all of the files in there, but there are some that won't be able to be deleted. Don't worry about those. That's just going to happen each time. All right, then next, we're going to go back to the run application. So push Windows and R on your keyboard, and then we're going to type in temp, click enter, and click continue to access the folder. Then go ahead and click on an icon, and then press Control A to select all, and then Control D to delete. And then go ahead and click continue. And then next, we're going to open up the Windows application again, Windows R on the keyboard, and then we're going to type in percentage temp percentage. Click OK, and then same thing here. Select and press Control A to select all and Control D to delete these files. And then there's going to be some that won't delete. And then next, we're going to open up our hard drive. So go ahead and click the Windows Start button, and then click into your Documents, and we're going to go into this PC, and then down to your local disk, so our C disk. We're going to open up our Windows, scroll down to Software Distribution, and then you can delete these files in the Software Distribution. This is for when you update your operating system, and it just saves the old files here every time you update. So you can delete this to free up some more space. And then we're going to go back to our C drive. So I'm going to go over, hover over this C drive, and I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to go down and click Properties. And then when I'm in the properties, I'm going to click on tools and then right here, optimize and defragment your drive. So this is defragging your drive. So what this does is oftentimes if you're deleting a lot of files over time, there's still going to be space potentially held for some of those files. So you're going to want to click on optimize and it's going to try and remove all of those excess files. So click on optimize. And as you can see, this is my SSD. It's been 10 days since my last retrim, so I'm going to go ahead and click Optimize. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my other hard drive disk. And then once you've optimized and defragged your drive, go ahead and exit out. And then we're going we're gonna to go to our search, and we're going to type in Disk Cleanup. Open up the Disk Cleanup. Pick the drive. And then as you can see here, there's going to be a lot of excess files that are unnecessary and not needed currently. So you can see I have 6.8 gigabytes of disk space. So I'm going to go ahead and select a lot of these. You can see here like recycle bin, it'll empty your recycle bin and there's a lot in there. I'll click OK and I'm going to delete those files. And one last way that you can help free up some of that storage space is by deleting unnecessary files files that you don't use anymore. So go ahead into your search bar and type in storage settings. Click on storage settings. And then here is where you can see where all of your storage is being used and where you might want to start trimming. So you can see here apps and features are holding most. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to show me all of the files and the storage it is using. So I can sort by size. And then I can start going through and start deleting and uninstalling these different softwares and programs. So that is how you can start freeing up some of the storage space on your PC. Hopefully you were able to get a lot more storage. You can start downloading more things. Thanks for tuning in.